What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin busher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 10 million dollar buy-in. And they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games today. We got 500 of them. Well actually 600 of them because they gave us an extra 100 quarters since I did the 10 million dollar buy-in. So anyhow let's get right into it. So we're not going to be putting like 500 quarters in there at one time or nothing. We're just going to be playing like normal. We got it stacked up incredibly well today. It looks like a massive wall of chips in there. It's definitely one of the biggest poker chip walls I've ever seen in there before. They got two quarter towers on the left and the right side, a bunch of quarters on the play field. And behind that great big old wall, there's $2,000 chip towers on the blue shelves. I can see a yellow mister bag and a sky blue mister bag. And they got a red mystery bag in there also on the pusher. They got a gold pyramid back there. Oh wow, that was a massive pusher out there. Sweet. Now that golden pyramid back there on the pusher, it's starting to go. Oh my goodness, this is pushing amazingly well so far. Come on, big money. My goodness, check that out. The base of that wall is starting to slide out a little bit. Especially on that right hand side. Check that out. It's amazing. Wow, we're getting tons of quarters back also. There we go. Speaking of quarters, that quarter tower on the left, it's about to go. Same thing for that great big old wall right there in the center. Come on, big push. Give me something. There it goes. Nice, we got it. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, that was an outstanding waterfall right there, but that loot chute got severely clogged up. My goodness, look at all that gold, five and ten thousand dollar chips we just got. That is incredible. So anyhow, let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. It's extremely full. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So we probably got about 250 quarters left in the bowl. And check that out. There's a red earbud right there on the edge. And I think that red mystery bag's to the right of it. Wow. So if you don't know what that red earbud is for, we get to cash it in. They will take all of those towers that are on the blue shelf and they'll put them into the play field. Oh wow, that was a nice push on the right hand side. Getting a boatload of five and ten thousand dollar chips. We're also about to get that red mister bag. I think we done got that red earbud to fall into the loot chute. Oh wow, that was a magnificent push right there. So leave a guess in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a ten million dollar buy-in. There's a lot of money on the line, but I'll do this for you all. So we only got like less than 10 quarters left probably like eight or nine of them there they are come on big push give me something a couple quarters fell off the pusher on the left and we didn't get anything oh might get a second wave all right well, let me go see what i've won real quick and we'll get right back to pushing you all are not going to believe this check this out there was a 10 dollar chip and a 50 dollar chip hidden in there somewhere and I'm pretty sure y'all seen these two things fall down. We got that red earbud and that red mystery bag. So this $50 chip right here, if you don't know what this is for, we get to cash it in at the end of the game. They will take anything that's falling down those side slots and they'll put it back into the play field. And if you don't know this, anything that falls down the side slots, that money goes to the house. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. But with this $50 chip right here, we get to cash it in. They'll put everything back into the play field pretty much give us a second chance at winning whatever we've lost so that is absolutely amazing and this ten dollar chip right here if you don't know what this is for we get to cash it in and we get to spin this wheel and it has all these different types of chip values on there for example five thousand dollar chips ten thousand dollar chips thousand dollar chips it even goes as low as ten dollar chips and it goes as high as twenty five thousand dollar chips so we get to spin that wheel and whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they will build somewhere in the play field. So this right here is pretty much worth one free tower. 
Oh, and I forgot to mention gold bars is an option also. I think that's what we got the day before yesterday or something. So, and this red earbud right here, like I said, we get to cash that in. They'll move them towers that are on the blue shelves to the play field. So, I think we should go ahead and open up this red mystery bag before we continue playing. Just to see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So, we got two $1 chips. So, each one of these is worth 500 quarters. So, if I cash both of these in... They will give me an extra thousand quarters. So that'll probably put our quarters up to about 23, 2400 of them. So that is absolutely exceptional. So I will cash in those $1 chips and that $10 chip after we win all those remaining chips and gold out of there. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. That last round was a huge success. We made a tremendous amount of money. I think we made at least like $6 million in chips. Who knows, maybe a little bit more than that. And we got a truckload of gold. Goodness, probably got like close to 100 ounces of gold so far. And we got a boatload of quarters. Like I said, we got about 1,200 of them right now. And if I cash in both of those $1 chips, that'll put us up to about 23, 2,400 of them, I'd say. So. Try to win all those remaining chips and gold out of there. This is pushing incredibly well today. I was expecting that wall to take like, goodness, at least two and a half hours to fall down. That was my guess. But I've only been playing like 25, 30 minutes so far. Let's see what the camera says. 26 minutes and 42 seconds. So, got that wall to crash down really, really quick. For you all, I've only been playing probably like 10 or 15 minutes so far. I like to cut out most of the boring parts because most of the time it's nothing but quarters falling. Sometimes it takes up to eight hours to get it all cleared out of there. Especially if they got the towers on the corners. Like, for example, say there was a massive tower over there and a massive tower out there. There's been times I played up to seven and a half, eight hours trying to win the towers on the sides. But luckily, we got them quarter towers that's on the left and the right side to fall down almost instantly. So I don't think this game is going to get us any trouble today. Unless they move those chips that are on the blue shelf in difficult spots. Whenever I catch in that red earbud. So we almost got it all cleared out of there. It looks like there's $10,000 on the right side. And $10,000 on the left. I think we should be pushing on the left for now because that 10 grand on the left needs to catch up with that 10 grand on the right. I like to keep everything moving evenly and equally. It's not good to push on one side only. Especially if you have the same amount of stuff on all sides of the play field. Come on, massive push, come on. Oh yeah, see that? How that 10 grand caught up with the 10 grand on the right? So now I guess it's safe to push across the whole field. But we got that right side all cleared out, and I think we just trick shot a $5,000 chip back into the play field. Check that out. Oh yeah, sweet. We got that 10 grand on the left hand side out of there. That is awesome sauce. So, I think I'm going to try to get that other 5 grand right there. Well, I'm just going to play till we run out of quarters. We only got like, let's see, how much is this? Like, 80 to 100 quarters left in the bowl. More than likely, we'll end up losing that $5,000 chip to the gutter. Oh my goodness, well, we just trick shot a $10,000 chip back into the field also. Well, I mean, even if I cashed in that uh, $10 chip and those $1 chips right now, they would still leave that money right there in there. So, I guess there's really no point in trying to win it now. It's just wasting their quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in that 10 and these $1 chips. That will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. And we get to spin that wheel and whatever it lands on. That's what type of brand new tower they'll build in there somewhere. So let me call them over here real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a &B Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in both of those $1 chips and that $10 chip. They gave me an extra 1,000 quarters. And I got to spin that wheel. And today it landed on one ounce gold bars. So as you can see, they built a humongous tower of gold back there on the pusher. I'd say that's at least like 80 to 120 ounces of gold. 
so it's a lot of gold right there for sure. And I'll take the gold bars any day because the gold bars are still worth about $1,930 an ounce right now, or maybe $1,920, who knows. Somebody can let me know the exact spot price of gold down in the comments. I'd highly appreciate that. Yeah, just leave me a comment. Let me know what one ounce of gold is worth. Well, speaking of that gold tower, it's getting really, really close to the edge. It's already hanging like halfway over almost. And we're about to get that $5,000 chip right there. Check that out. My goodness, it's defying gravity at the moment. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. So I think we should be pushing on that left hand side to try to keep that 10 grand from falling down the gutter. The only way to prevent stuff from falling down the gutter is to push on that side or something's about to fall down the gutter. Just push on that side for a little bit and more than likely it will flow on past it. Come on big money, give me something. Oh yeah, that gold tower, it's getting really, really close to the edge. And also, there's quite a few ways I could win all those towers on the blue shelves. Well, today we got that uh, red earbud. And sometimes they'll have a $5 chip in there also. And it's basically the same exact thing as that red earbud. Except one's an earbud and one is a chip. So we get to cash both of them in. They'll move all them towers and chips to the play field for free. But if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there, I would have to pay two times the original buy-in. So... It would cost 20 million to get the blue shelves cleared off, and that would end up being a 30 million dollar buy-in in total, just to get them towers on the blue shelves. So I don't really know if that'd be worth it or not. I mean, it all depends on how many dice we've won. Speaking of dice, I don't think we've won any dice so far. Really, really hoping. Nice, we got that humongous tower gold to crash down. Sweet. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal. So anyhow, like I was saying, I really, really hope there's some dice hidden inside them mystery bags. That'd be amazing. And another way I could win some of them towers on the blue shelves is if I stack the quarters up real high back there on the pusher. And you see how them $1,000 chip towers are hanging over that blue shelf just a little bit? If I stack the quarters up real high back there, I would have a good chance of trick-shotting those towers into the play field. But there's really no point in trying to do that today since we already got that red earbud. We'd just be wasting time and quarters. So anyhow, let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Envy Coin Pusher has your turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So that last round was incredibly successful. We made a tremendous amount of gold. Think we got about, let's see, what was it? I counted them up, I just forgot what it was. I think it was like, 78 or 79 ounces of gold that we got right there so this is doing amazing about to get a bunch more gold right there on the edge nice that was a really really good push right there we're about to lose like 20 grand to the gutter on the right hand side so like i said the only way we could save that is by pushing on the right try to get it to flow past the gutter see what i'm saying see how that uh ten thousand dollar chip right there is trying to go past it Oh no, well we just lost two of them right there, that's not good. I mean, I guess that doesn't really matter because we did win that $50 chip. We get to cash that in at the end of the game. It will take anything that's falling down those gutters and we'll put it back into the play field somewhere. So stay tuned for that. But after this bowl of quarters right here, after we win these remaining $10,000 chips out of there, I will go ahead and cash in. Let's see, I'll cash in that red earbud, have them move all those towers that are on the blue shelves to the play field. So anyhow, I hope y'all are doing good and having an awesome day so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy these videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. It would help out a lot. We're on the road to 125,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by August the 15th, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 3,000 likes on today's episode. 3,000 likes. I know we can do that. I just need everyone watching to hit that like button. Tell you what, if this video can get 3,000 likes in the first day of it being uploaded, 
tomorrow I will do a $50 million buy-in tomorrow if this video can get 3,000 likes in a day. So I think the maximum amount of locks I've ever been able to get in one day is like 32, 3,300 of them. So I know we can definitely get 3,000 locks in a day. Just need everyone watching to hit that like button. So that $10,000 chip on the right corner, it's hanging over the edge just a little bit. Pretty much defying gravity. Come on, massive push. Sweet, we just got it. So now we need to push on that left side. Oh yeah, see that? That $10,000 on the left has moved forward a lot right there. And also, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future videos. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. And if you hit that bell icon and turn on all notifications, you will get notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever you're watching these videos on, you will get notifications every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any amazing content. Be sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cash in that red earbud real quick. Then we'll move all those chips and those towers to the play field. I'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud. They took all those towers and chips that was on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field. Looks like they put those $2,000 chip towers back there on the pusher. And both of them mystery bags back there on the pusher. And they got two towers of chips on the corners. Those might be pretty difficult to win. So might be playing this game for probably two or three hours trying to get them towers on the sides. I hope not anyhow. I'm hoping we can get them to fall down with them probably the next lock. At least 20 minutes. 20 minutes would be a pretty good time. But like I've said, most of the time whenever they got the towers on the sides, it takes like a couple hours to go. And like I said, the maximum amount of time I played is like seven and a half hours before I just gave up or paid extra to have them move to a different location. Oh yeah, well that tower on the right hand side just moved a little bit. And that Mr. Bag, the yellow Mr. Bag on the right. Oh nice, we got that thousand dollar chip tower, sweet. Wow, that was a massive win right there. That one had a bunch of gold on top of it. And check that out, that mystery bag on the right's real close to the edge. Come on, big money, give me something. Oh yeah, sweet, we got that yellow mystery bag. So I will open up that mystery bag here in a few minutes after we get some of these towers to get going. Oh yeah, that was a boatload of thousand dollar chips. Oh yeah, sweet, we got that other tower to go. That is awesome sauce. Wow, it's just raining thousand dollar chips every single push. Doing amazing today. Now it looks like we've lost quite a few quarters to the blue shelves. There's nothing I can really do about that. So I think the best bet now is to push across the whole field, try to get these towers on the sides to get moving. Because those look like they're going to take a while, like I was saying. Getting tons of thousand dollar chips right there in the center though. Can't wait to count up all this money at the end of the game. So leave a guess in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a 10 million dollar buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend, but like I said earlier, I do this for you all. We almost got all those thousand dollar chips out of there. And that sky blue mystery bag looks like it might take a little while to go. It's right there behind that big old tower of chips. All right, well that right there was the last of our quarters. Just got a bunch of quarters on that push right there. That one also. So let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So that last round was pretty successful. We got a bunch of thousand dollar chips. I think we made like two or three, four hundred grand total. We got a bunch of gold and 
Got a decent amount of quarter steel. I think we had about like 1,500 of them. We had like 22 or 2,300 of them, but we lost a bunch of our quarters. That's all right though, just as long as we have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today. I guess that's all that counts. So, a lot of y'all suggested to put like 500 quarters in there at one time if those towers on the sides are being a little bit stubborn. So I might try that here in a few minutes just to see if it'll get these towers on the sides moving. Yeah, they're being really, really stubborn at the moment. Well, I just seen the one on the right side move forward like a millimeter or so. Maybe a centimeter. Oh yeah, and that sky blue mystery bag on the left, it's like right there on the edge. That's moving forward pretty well now. Come on, big push. That was a boatload of quarters we just got right there. And I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only upload the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past, and y'all didn't seem to like those too well. And plus, I try to keep this channel as positive as possible. So that's why I just stick to posting the winning videos. And anyhow, I probably win one out of every three or four games that I play. So I definitely don't win as much money as it seems. I know it seems like I'm making like two or three, four, five hundred million dollars profit every single day. But trust me, that's not the reality of the situation. Like, I played three of these games already today. This one right here makes the fourth one. And as of right now, we're down like $34 million. So we need to at least make $34 million profit on this game right here to break even. So, oh nice, we got that sky blue mystery bag on the left hand side, sweet. So I will open up that yellow and that sky blue mystery bag after this bowl of quarters right here. Even if it doesn't get those towers to fall down, we'll go ahead and open up the mystery bags. Yeah, and there's times I've lost up to $200 million playing these games before. See, what'll happen, they'll charge like $50 million at the start for the buy-in. And they'll normally give me like 50 to 100 quarters for the $50 million buy-in. And once I lose all 50 or 100 of those quarters, there's $50 million down the drain. So then I'll keep on doing buy-in after buy-in. And then there's times I've spent up to $200 million and not made a single penny back. So this is definitely a lot harder than it looks and I make it look a lot easier than it actually is. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So now let's go ahead and open up both of those mystery bags. All right, here they are. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start with this yellow mystery bag first. The blue one is definitely a lot heavier, so we're gonna save that one for last. So anyhow, let's see if there's anything good and valuable in this one. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So we got three white dice. If you don't know what the white dice are for, we get to roll these at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by that number. My goodness, I was worried we wasn't going to win any dice today. Wow, that is exceptional. So now let's go ahead and move on to the sky blue mystery bag. This one feels a lot more heavier, so we'll see if there's anything good and valuable in this one. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So we got three golden dice and two silver dice. You don't know what the gold dice are for, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by that number. And these two silver dice right here, we get to roll these at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the quarters will multiply by those numbers. So for example, say I have a thousand quarters at the end of the game, and both of them silver dice combined end up multiplying the quarters by five, then that would uh, turn into 5,000 quarters, and you can divide that by four to get the dollar amount. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Both of those mystery bags was loaded up incredibly well. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. I'll probably try like one more bowl of quarters after this one. If it doesn't get those two poker chip towers to fall down, I will probably go ahead and cash in that $50 chip. And sometimes if you cash in one of those chips, they will rearrange the towers that was remaining in the play field. For example, before I cash in that $5 chip, sometimes there'll be towers like this that are being stubborn. They will just move them closer to the center. A lot of y'all know what I'm talking about if you've seen older videos. So, more than likely if I cashed in that $50 chip, they would rearrange these two towers right there. Probably put them in a different spot. Well, that one on the left hand side just moved forward a bunch. Did you see that? 
Later on when I'm editing, I'll zoom in on that so y'all can see it better. And let's see, what does the camera say? We've been playing for 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 13 seconds at the moment. So we've been playing a long time, pretty close to 3 hours. Getting pretty tired at the moment, but like I've said before, we're not going to stop till we have it all cleared out of there. Definitely not giving up this easily. Oh no, dropping quarters on the floor. And another thing, I can only fit like a thousand of those quarters that I've worn in the bowl at one time. The rest of the quarters are just laying there on the floor. I mean, at least we got them if we need them, but I mean, I wish they would start giving us like baskets to put them in. Because I don't like leaving all those quarters on the floor because somebody could just walk by and grab quarters while I'm not paying attention. So... I talked to them about that the other day and they said we'll see what we can do and we still haven't got any baskets so hopefully tomorrow or the next day they start giving us the baskets that'd be really nice so yeah like I was saying earlier we got to make like 34 million profit off of this game just to break even that's how much money we're down at the moment for today anyhow Well, I just seen that tower on the right side move forward a little bit more. See, the only problem with the towers on the corners, whenever you push on the sides, the quarters like to fall down those gutters right there. Like, pay attention to that right hand side just for a second. See that, how the quarters are falling down that gutter instead of pushing forward on that tower? It's like they go the easiest route, and that would be down the gutter. So that's why it takes, sometimes it takes hours to knock down the towers on the sides. Anyhow, let's try one more bowl of quarters, and if that doesn't get these two towers, we'll go ahead and cash in that $50 chip. So let me collect some quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, Envy Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's try to push evenly across the whole field and see if that gets these towers moving. The one on the left side is a lot more closer than the one on the right. So I'm hoping we can get one of these towers to fall down at least before we cash in that $50 chip. Oh yeah, the one on the left just moved forward a little bit more. Did you see that? So now I think we should push on the right because since that tower is pretty close, I might can get that one on the right to catch up with the one on the left. Oh yeah, tons of quarters on the edge. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that was a nice push out there. Oh yeah, that tower on the right corner just moved forward like a millimeter or so. It's getting pretty close to the edge. Like I said, the best bet is just to keep on pushing across the whole field. And sometimes we'll play on the right and sometimes we'll play on the left. Depends on what works the best in that moment. Like right now we should be pushing on the right since that tower on the left is so close. Need the one on the right to catch up with the one on the left. I don't know, I think we should try like one more bowl of quarters after this one because look how close that tower is right there. Super, super close to the edge. Oh no, just drop the quarter on the floor. I'll pick that up here in just a moment. Oh yeah, see that? The one on the right just moved forward like maybe a centimeter or two. So let's just try one more bowl of quarters, and if that doesn't get these towers to fall down, I will go ahead and cash in that $50 chip. So let me grab some quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So let's keep on pushing these towers, try to get them to go. Like I said, this is going to be the last bowl of quarters, win or lose. Yeah, both of them are super close to the edge. Now that one on the left hand side, that one's going to fall down like any minute now. Oh my goodness, well I almost forgot, somebody suggested to put like 500 quarters in there at once whenever the towers on the sides were being stubborn. So we're going to try that, I think, think we got enough quarters to do it. Let's say we got like 800 quarters in the bowl plus whatever we just won. So we're pretty much down to 1000 quarters at the moment. 
I want to be sure we have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today. And whenever I cash in that $50 chip, uh, sometimes they forget to empty out their loot box, and sometimes there can be stuff that a bunch of other people have lost to the side slots playing these games. So if we're lucky, we might get a bunch of bonus money and chips and gold, so that'd be really nice. I want to be sure we have enough quarters to win all that out of there. So anyhow, I will release that skill stop button in 3, 2, 1. Let's see if it gets those towers. Come on, massive push. Oh my goodness, well a bunch of quarters got stuck back there. They're trying to go. Let's try to put some quarters on top of them. Try to get them to... Try to break that traffic jam. Come on, big money. Well, I mean, I guess that's a pretty good technique, but I mean, it wastes a bunch of quarters. Yeah, we only got like 100 quarters left in the bowl, and look how close that tower on the right side is. I'm surprised that that thing hasn't fallen over the edge yet. So we only got like 10 quarters left in the bowl. Oh my goodness, did you see that? It's like defying gravity now. Come on, big money. Well, I know I said this was the last bowl of quarters, but I'm going to have to try like at least one or 200 more quarters and try to get this tower. Look how close it is. It's like hanging over the edge. I don't even know how it's still hanging on there. So let me just grab a couple quarters real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. Nice, we got that tower to crash down. That is absolutely exceptional. My goodness, I've been playing for about three hours and 15 minutes now. About time it crashed down. So let's try to get all that remaining money off the left side. Oh nice, that was a really, really nice push right there. Yeah, that one on the right-hand side, I think we're just going to give up on that one because it's like barely moving at all. That left side definitely seems to push better than the right. Seems like it's that way for a lot of coin pushers, not just this one. Yeah, I've noticed while I've been watching other channels, the left side pushes better than the right. So I'd say we got about couple quarters left in the bowl like a hundred of them or so I just want to get that remaining money off the left then I will go ahead and cash in that $50 chip nice we got it got the left hand side all cleared out of there so let me go cash in that $50 chip real quick and we'll be right back alrighty AMV coin pusher has returned let's get right back to pushing so I cashed in that $50 chip, they took everything that was down in their loot box and they put it all into the play field. And that tower that was being a little bit stubborn on the right hand side, it looks like they combined it in with the rest of those chips back there on that pusher. Looks like they built it all in like one massive tower. Has a bunch of gold on top of it and they also got two smaller towers of gold on the play field and there's two white dice on those. So that'll be two extra white dice we could potentially win. Say I do win both of those white dice, that'll put our white dice up to, let's see, five of them. That'll be five white dice that we've won in total. And remember, those multiply our winnings. Those are definitely the most valuable. Oh yeah, that tower back there on the pusher, it's losing chips at the base of it. Check that out. And they also had like a bunch of low value chips in there. And keep in mind, most of these towers and chips and gold that you're seeing was not the stuff that I lost. Nice, we got that humongous tower to go. Sweet. Got a bunch of gold, five and ten thousand dollar chips. Oh my goodness, well, we do got to be careful about that dice on the right side. So we need to push on that right side and try to keep that dice away from the gutter. Keep it as far away from the gutter as possible. Oh no, well that loot shit's getting pretty piled up. I think there's like gold or something blocking everything from falling on down into the loot chute. Let's get it cleared out real quick. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So we got that loot chute all cleared out. I think there was like a couple gold bars blocking everything from falling. Oh nice, we got that dice on the right side. Oh yeah, that was a nice push right there. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, I got a bunch more five and ten and thousand dollar chips right there. So many five and ten thousand dollar chips on the edge. Oh yeah, that was a really really nice push there. Come on, big money, give me something. 
Oh yeah, that was a boatload of money. So we only got a couple of quarters left in the bowl, so that right there is the last of them. So let's throw them right there in the center and on the left and the right and see what happens. Come on, massive win! Oh yeah, check that out. There's a ton of $10,000 chips on the edge. So let's collect some quarters real quick and we'll try to get all those remaining chips and gold out of there. Be right back. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. Nice, we just got like 30 or 40 grand on that push right there. So after we get it all cleared out of there, I will go ahead and call them back here. And they will put all those dice that we've won back there on the pusher. So stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. Really, really hoping those dice all in on some pretty good numbers. Like I said, we could really, really use a good win today. Like I said, we're down like $34 million as of right now, so we can make at least $35 million profit on this game. We'll be ahead for the day. $34 million would put us even. Well, I guess I should have said if we make anything over $34 million, we'll be ahead. Don't necessarily have to be $35 million. But anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. So let's get that remaining gold bar and $1,000 out of there. Like right there on the edge. Come on, big win. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's super, super close. And luckily, they did not put any of the towers on the blue shelf today. Sometimes, whenever I cash in that $50 tip, they like to put a bunch of towers on the blue shelves. Even if they have room in the play field, they'll still put them on the blue shelves. And we have to go through the trouble of winning a $5 chip or a red earbud and cash that in. Then we'll move those towers to the play field. But luckily, Everything that was in there they put into the play field today. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely phenomenal. This has been a brilliant game today. Absolutely brilliant. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we've won 10 dice in total. We got 5 white dice, 3 gold dice, and 2 silver dice. They will put all 10 of those dice back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they land on, get to multiply our winnings and our quarters and our gold by that amount. So let me call him over here real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to it. So I called him over here. They put all 10 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all land on some enormous numbers. And if any of those dice lands on a 1, it is a 0. The 1s do not count at all. So if it lands on a 1, just act like it don't exist. Well, we got a 5 so far on the white dice. That's pretty good. And we got a 2, a 3, a 1, and a 2. So like I said, just act like that 1 don't exist. I mean, it's very well possible that it could flip over to a different number later on if we keep on pushing. Oh, wow. Those are brilliant numbers right there. Looks like we only got two ones out of the ten dice, so that's not too bad. Not bad at all. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold and our quarters by all that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $10 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely remarkable. I ended up winning $13,637,000. $460 in chips and all of those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 14 and in total I ended up winning $190,924,440 from a $10 million buy and that is absolutely exceptional. That's another huge life changing jackpot win right there absolutely mind-blowing and on top of that we won 276 ounces of gold and all those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 11 and in total I ended up winning 3036 ounces of gold today and those are around $1930 a piece and last but not least we got 1254 quarters and both of those silver dice combined ended up multiplying the quarters by six and in total, I ended up winning 7,524 quarters today. And I'm going to divide that by four. This right here will give us the dollar amount. Ended up winning $1,881 in quarters today. That is absolutely magnificent. 
So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.